these egg muffins sold out like crazy in my house they were so yummy and easy to achieve hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is claudine if you're new welcome if you are returning thank you so much so today we are going to work on making some egg muffins i started out with one large red onion and i just chopped that as finely as i could and you can do the same next i had half bell pepper that was left in my fridge i also used that chopped it as finely as i could and next i worked on my tomatoes i used a total of two tomatoes and i just chopped them into smaller pieces and this is just to make sure that everything mixes out well and cooks out evenly and when i was finished with the tomatoes i moved on to some cilantro that a good friend of mine had gifted me from her farm and this is just to add some good flavor to the mixture when all was done i transferred everything into a container and seasoned it please consider subscribing so you are able to support this channel so it can continue growing and with that i can bring in more easy recipes and more information and the seasonings that i use will be in the description together with the measurements when that was done i mixed up everything as best as i could and then i realized i had some shredded carrots in my fridge so i added those in as well and mixed it up until everything was well incorporated next i moved on to egg preparation i used a total of eight eggs and i cracked those in a jar and added in half a cup of milk and seasoned it with some salt whisked to the best of my ability when that was done i moved on to my muffin tins and i used my spray just to prepare the tins this is so it doesn't stick to the bottom when that was done i added in my mixture and just scooped into each muffin tin as shown next when that was done i added in my egg mixture until the veggies were covered and this is really an easy step if you made it this far then be sure you know you can make that as well when done with the egg mixture, I moved on to top it with some shredded mozzarella cheese and this gives it some cheesiness and just some extra crispiness and I baked it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and that is the finished product. So to remove it from the container, just scoop it from the sides as shown using a spatula and let me tell you this you can eat on the go you can use it for breakfast you can use it for your brunch and this really sold out real quick in my house when i thought it was still there i just realized it was all gone so i hope you can try this in your family in your kitchen and just let me know how it goes in the comments look at that so crispy golden brown and above all it was very very delicious and it's very nutritious anybody can achieve this thank you so much for joining me in this video and i hope to see you in my next one thank you bye